Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! Right. You gotta be pumped on that, right, Will? Computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. What's up, my little twinklets? My name's Timmy Joe, making videos about computers on the internet. Since we had such a sad day yesterday, not being able to get the Titan working, I, I tried everything. Talk about that later, but I thought we'd do something fun and interesting today. Uh, I have a little motherboard here, and you might notice that this is a Socket 775 motherboard, but there's some old-ass hardware, yeah, that's right, on the uh, table here. Well, it's not. It, uh, it's not what it appears to be. I bought this at Value Village, which is a Goodwill store-ish in uh, my hometown. Uh, it's a chain of them in Canada. So rarely do I find computer stuff there. I was there looking for a microwave for my office. Uh, you know, I got a $20 microwave or whatever, so I can heat up some lunches. And I saw this on the, I was like, wow, cool. Never saw computer stuff here before, especially a boxed motherboard. And Socket 775, I was like, oh, whatever, $7, $7, you know, I'll, I'll pick it up, whatever. And then I got it back to the office, and lo and behold, that's not what it was at all. This is an AMD motherboard from quite some time ago, probably about pre-2000, pre-millennium. And it's an interesting specimen, to say the least. So not, you know, not 775, it's an ECS motherboard, Elite Group. Haven't seen this in a long time. I had one of these motherboards for my Athlon back in the day, for sure, so I'm familiar with them. But what makes this one special and interesting is it's uh, it's a Duron, AMD Duron, so you know uh, K K7 first generation, and it's not what it might seem. So I was like, where like where's the socket? This is a weird cooler situation. Also, there's RAM on the board. Has of course you know uh, pretty old stuff AGP. You know it's got. Uh, 256 megs of RAM. And then there's a little sticker here that said definitely don't remove this cooler, but we're gonna go ahead and be badass here today. So I'm gonna open up the cooler here. Don't wanna lose these screws. I'm not sure I'd be able to find replacements. And look at this. Oh man, it's so dirty. Look at that heat sink, that's beautiful. The Duron is built into the board. That's so weird and cool. You see the exposed silicon there. No IHSs back then. Uh, but it's literally soldered, boof, onto the board. Really weird stuff. And then there is an extra RAM slot where we can put an SD RAM, not DDR, SD RAM, and another 256 gig stick here. Boom. Meg? 256 gigs. <laughs> to make megabytes. Sorry, that was confusing. And then it's got an AGP slot that we can go ahead and put, yeah. Um, uh, a video card in like this 9700 which is probably overkill for it uh, I got an old ass PSU here I got some ATA uh, CD-ROMs and uh, the, the, the hard drive and I figured I'd go ahead and put Windows 98 on it that's if the CD's in here yes Windows 98 special edition because that would be just a fun video and there's gonna be really not much point than just seeing if this thing works and if I can get it all working, and maybe I'll fire it into a, a working system a little bit later, because it'd be fun to have a 98 system. I, I used to have one, and it, uh, it kind of died a bit. It was an Athlon, and I just was having a hard time booting. It might be the power supply. I could probably swap the power supply out. But uh, built on Duron? That's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get her started. I'll button this all up. It'll take a second to get Windows 98 loaded on it. And then we'll just have fun. We'll try and put an old-ass game on it, some DOS games or something. Woo!
Whoa! Whoa, okay. We have 98 installed. However, before I ran any 3D applications, I did notice, of course, with the old AGP video cards, they rarely have a working fan, and this one was no subsection. This one was no obsec. This one was no obsection. The fuck is wrong with me right now? This one is no exception. <laughs> Uh, but before we went into any 3D applications, uh, my oh, trusty graphics card here, which was sent to me by a viewer, I want to thank you very, very much, I forget what your name is, and I couldn't be bothered to look it up because it was like a long time ago. I'm really sorry, but it's a Hercules! Thank you, dude, that you know your name. You know who you are. Uh, Hercules 3D Profit 9700 Pro Graphics with 128 megabytes of uh, onboard RAM, I believe. Anyways, probably. Uh, so, I the fan doesn't work. And this is the fan, and you can't not, you know, figure something out. I figured out why. Look at it's burnt. <laughs> Look at the the copper. It's all messed up underneath it. So I have a couple of different fan options here. Um, this one's from like a chipset. The fan fits perfectly. I'm gonna hope to maybe transplant this into here. Uh, I also have like uh, this is for an Nvidia card, but it's an Nvidia cooler. Uh, that I could use um, But it's smaller and I know that these late 9000 series cards like the 9800 9700 they get damn hot. I mean look at the die size on it So definitely want to put a proper cooler on there So I'm gonna jig jiggy rig something. I don't know why I can't talk today And then we'll uh, get back to our little 98 build for a little fun Friday <laughs> Yeah, finally get it done. Oh, this old crap's always so hard to get working. And it's supposed to be just a quick, fun video that I would have ready uh, to edit by the afternoon. And now it's almost the end of the day. It's 4.15. I should be home in 15 minutes. And uh, this is where we're at. So turn it on. 9700 Pro fan broken. Fix that. I used a chipset fan. Glued it in there. It's working beautifully. Cooler Master fan was actually reversed. Okay, it's a... Uh, Pro 1800 plus Duron, which is a 1800 megahertz frequency uh, K7 based processor, 266 megahertz on the bus, and takes SD RAM. It's got two, s well, it's got some embedded in the board, which is pretty cool. So you don't need anything to make this board work. It even has VGA out. I'm assuming wouldn't be very good VGA. And then we're going to have, oh no, from hard disk. Damn you, it's not working again. Sword. Sometimes the keyboard just doesn't work. So I hope in Windows it does, otherwise I'm going to have to do another take. Uh, anyways, uh, so it, I got it all working. Of course, when you boot Windows 98 for the first time, it's like, I have no drivers at all. You can, uh, come on, help me out here. It doesn't install anything on this board by itself. It's a little bit past its prime, this thing. Oh, we got a mouse working at least. So cancel that. And, but So I had to... Unhook the video card completely. This has VGA thing, thankfully. And plug this power connector into a floppy disk where I use the USB external floppy disk to load a USB mass storage driver that would allow this here USB key to work so I could load some things. So we got we got a mouse. Yay, there we go. And let's just this is fun. There's a CPU Z version for Windows 98, but it doesn't show much. In this Elite Group motherboard here, uh, I can find only versions with socketable CPUs and RAM. Uh, I could not find this. It's a K7SEM Revision 3M, and as you see on the screen here, all I can find is uh, A, Revision 3A, which is a real, you know, sort of motherboard, not something like this. So we see here in the CPU Z Duron Socket A462. It's a Morgan code name, Duron. Uh, it's got a multiplier of 12, it's got 60, uh, L1 cache is 64 kilobytes, and L2 cache 64 kilobytes, they're all 60, I bet that's wrong. But uh, we go here to memory, we see here we got 512 megabytes installed, which is not bad. 
Uh, it doesn't give you any other information. Main board, uh, it says um, American Mega Trends. Yeah, that's the boss. Yeah, way to go. It doesn't show anything about the motherboard. We go to Graphics 9700. So that's working. We got the driver installed. Go to Bench. This is just really funny. Bench CPU. We'll let it do its thing. Ni 98. Let's get to 98 single threaded score and then there's a multi score that's going to run and it has no idea that this is just a single core I guess. So it doesn't do much but 98. That's a perfect number for this 98 system. <laughs> what a terrible processor. 1800 megahertz. This would be I was a little bit weird on the, the dates. I think this thing came out in about 2001, this motherboard and, uh, you know, CPU and stuff like that. This is a little bit later, probably when they were making, you know, uh, th this might have come out of a pre-built system or something like that, an OEM system that had, you know, all this stuff built in, a very, you know, craptastic uh, computer. It probably would have been, but it has an AGP slot. So that means we can make it good. We can make it fun. And, uh, you know, it has networking. I haven't got it working yet, but uh, it's not like you can really browse the internet on 98 anyways. It's nice to be able to access the network share just to get grab files and stuff. But I have all the drivers installed for the sound, as you heard, when Windows started, which is really, really nice. And what, this is done. So we got a 40, uh, a 40 multi-threaded score. It halves it. That's funny. I don't know. So I'm going to go close. I'm going to go close. And then I'm going to go MS-DOS shortcut to, here we go. It's going to work, right? Heck yeah. We're going to have a little bit of Quake. A little bit of Quake. There we go. We got Quake going. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm at Watch to me, Joe, Instagram, and Twitter. This has just been an odd wear look, like if I could steal lazy game reviews. Turn down uh, type of thing. An elite group me uh, motherboard with a built-on Duron CPU and built-on 256 megs of RAM makes for an awesome uh, retro build because you don't even have to do anything to it. And with that AGP slot, you can put a really good graphics card in it like this. And you know, uh, you know, might not it might be some sort of bottleneck if you were in XP or something like that. But for 98 and the types of things I want to do with a 98 system, I will eventually transplant this into a period-appropriate case. Uh, you know, something cool I think would be fun. Something like pure get to crack, but like maybe they can find like an old compact case or uh, you know HP case from like the early 90s. That would be fun to put the, this in there and you know be pretty easy you know dealy because it's not ISA slots and stuff like that. And of course, Windows 98 is a very good platform to run your DOS games on because as we see right here, the sounds working, video's working. It's actually running at 640 by 800 or 640 by 4. 620 by 4, 640 by 4, let's just look. Oh, the keyboard's not working. That's the problem. <laughs> so, uh, the keyboard's not working. Ah, another intermittent problem with this. So I'll have to blow it all out. It's probably just got bad contacts or something like that. And Windows 98 hates when your PS2s aren't plugged in right at the start. They will not restart themselves or anything. It's, uh, you know, I'll, I'll try, but I doubt it's going to work. Yeah. So I'm stuck just close booting this but thanks for watching thanks for coming along it's this fun little thing and you know to get a quirk like of a motherboard going like this it takes a lot of thinking like how am I gonna get the files onto it and I don't have a, a, a I went through two floppies to get one that worked and I have to plug in I forget how to plug in a floppy cable it's not as simple as you think there's two directions and there's a splitty thing and uh, it's all good so thanks for watching you know, there we go. It's a little bit of Quake action for you. Running very, very smooth on this system. And I'll bid you adieu in a nice weekend.